Hi everyone, I am Nikhil Mittal. I am the creator of Nishang. This video is a part of day 3 of week of PowerShell shells which I am running on my blog labofapenetrationtester.com. In this video, we will have a look at a reverse HTTPS interactive PowerShell shell. The, the shell or the script is based on KC Smith's PowerShell and is called invoke PowerShell for HTTPS. On the attacker's machine, we need to start a listener and for that we need to run the script from an elevated shell. So let's go to the shells directory of Nishang and load invoke poshret https. Now we must specify an IP address which would be reachable from the target. For this demonstration let's do it on the local machine. We also need to specify a, a port which would be used for initial connect and an SSL port which would be used for encrypted communication between the attacker's machine and the target. So let's start the listener. It says it is listening on port 443. Now for this demonstration, we assume that we are sitting on the target, which is the local machine in this case. On the target, we can either force or trick the user to browse or to open a HTML application. Uh, that you can see in the accompanying blog post. But in this case, let's just use invoke expression. So on and, and the rest of the command. So on the client, we need to execute just this. Note that we are using HTTP here. This is just for the initial connect. And we need to connect to this URL. Now, as soon as this command is executed on a client or on a target, we will have a completely encrypted shell, reverse shell on HTTPS. We are sitting on an interactive PowerShell shell, so there are limitless opportunities as far as post exploitation or pivoting are concerned. We can literally move to other machines, pull system secrets. We can do a lot of stuff. You can check out other scripts in Nishang and other PowerShell security tools to see what you can do once you have a shell on a machine. A note that invoke posh red HTTPS adds firewall rules and certificates on the attacker's machine. You can always clean up after using it using the using the remove poshret script 
in the shells directory of Nishan. So feel free to explore, remove postfret like other scripts in Nishan. It is get help compatible. So have a look at it and try it out. Uh, one thing I would like to mention about invoke postfret HTTPS is the client part. That is what we need to execute on the client is really, really small. And that makes it ideal for any situation where we have a constant on the length of the script or we need a really small client portion or, this, uh, or, or the, or the sh uh, shell portion to be executed on a target. We can also use the HTA part. For that, you can read the accompanying blog post. So hope I hope you enjoyed this and uh, you would find it useful in in any of your sec upcoming security testing or red teaming exercise. So that is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching.